Hi guys, Legend Ball 101 here once again, bringing you another usual related video. This time, Charlotte Moth. Charlotte Moth, yo. Marvin has a big role coming soon, so looking at something called We Got This Covered.com. It's just been trending on Twitter, literally. I was, literally, I saw it, I went on Twitter and I was like, oh my days. Could this be his big return to the big time? We shall see. So let's read this article from we got this covered.com. So Charlotte Buff reported the eye for a big role in MCU X-Men reboot. So let's get into this. So let's read on. Charlotte Buff may only be 34 years old, but he's been working, working solidly for over 20 years now. Yeah, even Stevens days, my gosh. Probably even before that, I don't know. Um, and already finds himself in the midst of the fourth distinctive stage of his constantly evolving career. Having broken out as a child star and appeared in the likes of Even Stevens, The X Files, ER, and Holes. Holes was a great, oh my gosh. Holes was a great, great movie. Love X Files, love the ER, Even Stevens, but rah. He became a fixture in big budget box office hits after leading Michael Bay's first three Transformers movies, which literally he carried. But if without his energy, those movies would have been mediocre. Mediocre! Eagle Eye and Disturbia, love that as well, Disturbia. Along with the snaggy supporting roles in I Robot, Constantine, yeah, I love Constantine. Indiana Jones in the Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls, which was, ugh, Wall Street Money Never Sleeps. Never saw that. From there, he turned his back on mainstream fare and frequently found himself in the headlines for his bizarre and eccentric behaviour before reinventing himself yet again as an acclaimed dramatic talent. But always fully immersed himself into his characters, which is fact. This guy is a great character. This guy can literally embody any person that literally throw in front of him and be like, okay, let's go. Boom, okay, I'm him. That's, that's what he does. So Charlotte Boff does, you know, he's a man, he's the man. Puts respect on his name. <laughs> Puts respect on his name. So in fact, he's even been labeled as the finest actor of his generation. Probably. A return to the studio system has frequently been rumoured, of course, with LaBeouf once said to be among the top contenders to play the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Moon Knight. Well, with his kind of uh, persona, I guess. Um, that's a great choice, to be fair. However, we've now heard from our sources the same ones that told us a She-Hulk show is coming to Disney Plus and the live-action Robin Hood remake is in the works at Disney. Both of which were correct, but Marvel may want him to play Iceman in the X-Men reboot instead. Iceman. 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 I'm not talking about that new Iceman, I want that old Iceman, bro. I want the original Iceman, not this modern day garbage they got going with Iceman. Nah, not with that. So, let's see, let's keep reading on. And you know what I'm talking about. According to our intel, LeBoff is still under consideration for Moon Knight, but is no longer viewed as one of the top choices. Ah. However, having watched his recent resurgence with great interest, Marvel are keen to work with him and they now see a role as one of the X-Men, as another possible way of bringing him into the fold, while still easing him back to the big budget environment that he previously sworn off. <laughs> I'm loving this. This could be interesting. This could be interesting for Hollywood. Hollywood needs something big right now. This could be big. If the two sides can agree to a deal, so Marvel are making moves, making moves, making million dollar moves, bruh, God, if they get Charlotte Buff on here, bruh, bruh. Um, if, okay, so, and the idea of Charlotte Buff playing one of the X-Men is a hugely exciting prospect, and signing on as a secondary player like Iceman will also keep the pressure off the stars and notoriously volatile shoulders and present the opportunity to expand his role in future films if all goes well. I think this guy's misunderstood, bro. Charles Buff is misunderstood, man. Bro, he just wants to put, put in good work, yo. He loves to put in work. That's what Charles Buff does. He likes to put in work, bro. That's what he does, man. Um, he just leaves to let him breathe, man. Let him have his space, let him have his time. Let him put in work like he usually does, man. And he thrives. Anything he puts in, he thrives. He puts his mind to. You know, you know that. Everyone in Hollywood knows that. So, a little bit kooky at times they're a bit weird you know what i'm saying but that's literally most people in hollywood they're flipping weird so yeah charlotte Boff hopefully gets put back in the spotlight where he deserves to be up in the top echelons 
Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? Or the extra crap and extra baggage. You know what I'm saying? Just, just shoot it. Just shoot shot back in big time where it should be, bro. Hey, Shia might not want the fame and the glory, but he deserves the fame and the glory. That's what I'm saying on that. You know what I'm saying? I'm backing it 100%. Ultimate Warrior style, bro. You know what I'm saying? The Warrior. That's what Charlie Buff is. He's this. He's the ultimate warrior right now. So. Put the shirt back in. So tell me guys, think in the comment section down below. About Shia Buff reportedly in an Iceman role in the new X-Men Resurgence movie. So in the reboot. So put your comments in the comment section down below. You know what I'm saying? You know where to find me. Most places in social media. And yeah, follow the video up, share the video, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And press the notification bell. So wherever you are there at night, stay safe out here in these streets. This is Legend of 101 signing out. Peace.